Here we go. I feel like I'm shaking. But this YouTuber is so inspiring. I have to tell you guys about her. She's inspiring me. I mean, I've been on YouTube since 2006. I mean, the year after it started, my very first 15 second YouTube video, I put it up. And back then, I don't even think YouTube was monetized. Eventually, YouTube started monetizing, allowing us to make money off of our videos. But I still remember, don't despise the day of small beginnings. That's what the Bible says. So I remember putting up a few videos many years ago. I wasn't consistent and it was 2000, I don't know when, but I created a video and I looked on there and I was like, whoa, it made only $4. That's when I kind of gave up on YouTube. This is impromptu. I don't plan to edit anything. Mistakes and all, that's what I'm learning from Doe Dash. Doe Dash. Doe as in money, as in bread dough. D O U G H. She is so inspiring. <laughs> and I guess she's not a YouTube plant like some people think. Some people, when they experience this supernatural <laughs> success on YouTube, some people say she's an industry plant. Whatever that means, as if she somehow got in there and is experienced this if she's experiencing this supernatural huge success i've studied her even though you know i've got so much to learn from other people you know i always look at you know god put those divine connections in front of me don't let me be so you know haughty as if i can't learn anything from people younger than me or whatever I can learn from everyone and Dodash is inspiring me. She's teaching me. She's teaching a lot of people. She has a gift and it's so good to just see another believer on YouTube. Well, today, most of us YouTubers got paid and Dodash showed her earnings and she got paid more than $6,300, I want to say. She hasn't eaten in three days, she said. I don't know if she was just fasting or starving because she used to work for DoorDash and she's explaining how she would drive like 18 hour days and she put 50,000 miles on her car in three months. And I know there's another video where her car was towed. She said she's been late on rent and um, I need some bubbly. <clears throat> See, normally this kind of stuff I would not do on my main channel, a true crime channel, you know, I am edit it heavily and I'm just like trying to get the people the information without a lot of pauses. Of course, it's usually not a lot of levity because of the nature of the topic. But over here, I wanna be a little more casual and I had to tell you guys about DoDash, so hopefully I can link to her right there in the um, title or maybe the description somewhere. Oh, I usually turn comments off. So hopefully I can put her in the title, a link directly to her YouTube. I hope it's just Doe Dash or in the description. But she is amazing. She talks about her weight loss journey. She's lost a hundred pounds. She wants to get skin removal. I don't think I've even caught all of her videos, but I'm just so inspired by her journey. And I like to study other YouTubers to see what's working for them, um, what the algorithm is like. Because from 2006 till nearly 20 years later, I've seen YouTube change so much. Just, <laughs> I wish I had taken a lot more screenshots. I have the screenshot in my mind of like seeing a video and it didn't look like it looks now. And YouTube studio didn't. I think it was over in the AdSense and you could see the video and I saw like $4 and I was like, well, YouTube, you can do a lot of work. It's not going to pay much. Of course, I wish I would have stuck with it, but eventually I did. I mean, over the years, I would like make a video here and there and try this and that and start and stop. And finally, in 2018, I got back into it and God has blessed me so much. So again, I want to pass this on to you. Dodash, if you, she's so inspirational. If you go watch all of her videos, I haven't even watched them all yet, but if you watch her videos, they are amazing. Just what I've learned from her channel. At first I thought, oh, only her latest inspirational videos about making YouTube money and 
quitting DoorDash, those are the ones that, you know, really took off or that's where she started. But I kind of look back and if memory serves, I can see she had been posting a lot about DoorDash, a pretty popular topic, you know, and I don't know how often she posted, but it was relatively often over the, the past year or more. I can't remember off the top of my head. That's another thing she's teaching me. Just kind of get on camera. Like it's a whole production for my other channel. You know, I have to like be more, heavily i'm heavily into my research i'm heavily into of course and it, it lends itself to that because i like doing my own research into cases i want to get everything correct i want to be honorable towards victims and their loved ones i want to tell the story narrate heavily edited i think that works for that channel i can't just necessarily jump on here Kind of like, oh, whatever, talking off the top of my head on my other channel. But that's why I want to make this one kind of more casual and just show you guys. If you watch Dodash's style, you know, she'll be in the bathroom with her acne wash, the same kind I have. And she'll wash her face. And, you know, she's just casually kind of in a way how YouTube used to be for a while before this whole stylized, kind of heavily edited, ugh. Flash, 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 flash. Some of those videos I can't take if it's just too much, you know, switching. But then you don't want to be boring either. But she's not, she's engaging and she's so genuine. And today, I think, must have been her first check from YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there. But she, you know, got monetized. And now she's making more money, I think, than she's ever made with DoorDash, even working like 18 hour days. So. This is what I try and tell people when I try and convince them YouTube is very viable. Now, if you study how long she's been posting, though, it's not like she just, oh, put up a few videos and where are the people and what's happening? Why am I, <clears throat> excuse me, not getting monetized? Why am I not making any money? If you study her consistency, especially lately, and she just comes on there, she's just honest, and she's, you know, praising God today for her YouTube paycheck, and she's so real about what she's been through. And so that's really inspiring me, and she's really like, look, don't let anybody tell you that God can't do something for you, that God can't speak through you. That's the part I like the best. So she's inspired me lately too. And it's a refreshing break to tell you the truth from speaking on a lot of other heavier topics or being so prepared or being so stylized or knowing that if I create a video that's an hour's worth of footage or hour and a half, I tend to like to create long videos. That's another thing. It lends itself to the topic because I like to research heavily and you know, that's just what it is on my other channel. And by the time I turn off the camera and I'm downloading the video into my MacBook Pro, editing it, it can take hours upon hours after I've already researched for hours and then I sit and film for an hour or more. And then late into the night, I mean, I'm always praising God, like if I can get a video up in the same day that I've researched for hours, you know, I write out my notes that I film for an hour or more and then, you know, look for all the accompanying photos and videos, edit it together. The editing takes a really long time, as long as the research, maybe research takes longer. And if I can get that video up that same night by midnight or a little later or even earlier, whew, that's a good day. But with DoDash, her success, I can see it's coming from a place of, first of all, realness and humility. She believes in God. She gives him the glory. Her channel was financially focused, kind of. The DoorDash, you know, the gig, gig economy. So that movement, yeah, that was pretty financially focused. And so YouTube knew what to do with her. They knew exactly what to do with her, even though... Now she's kind of transformed and it's speaking a lot about YouTube money, YouTube money, YouTube growth, YouTube strategies. I guess she's still kind of in that financial arena. So her RPMs, revenue per mille or revenue per every thousand views is probably pretty high. 
it um, really depends on your topic. You want to create longer videos, videos that are at least eight minutes or more. And that way you can have mid-roll ads, ads in between. If it's less than eight minutes, you're not going to have ads in between. You'll just have ads in the beginning or ending. But YouTube just seems to favor longer videos too. Um, because the longer you can keep a person on the platform, they love it. Now, I'm not saying they'll promote you immediately. Um, you know, some people might get discouraged, and I've talked to some people, and maybe they'll put up a video here or there, and they're like, wow, I only got 11 views, you know? And I'm like, yeah, it's not good. Like, YouTube, I mean, it, at least that's 11 more views than you had before. But you want more views and you want more watch time. You want people watching your videos for a long time. And I think people are looking forward to Dodash's videos because like we were celebrating with her today. She was put up a video earlier checking like, oh, I got the email. I'm going to get paid, you know, my YouTube AdSense money for this month. And then she put up another video. And, you know, some of them, they aren't that long, but they're longer than eight minutes, some of them. And she's like, oh, I got it. And she's showing you like a little screenshot. Oh, more than $6,300, I believe. And so we're up here celebrating with her, like praising God with her. She's jumping around. She's very demonstrative and she's just inspiring. You'll see what I mean if you just go binge watch her over there. She's a breath of fresh air. And that's what you want to get into. You want to get into... YouTube's algorithm, it can be mysterious. You know, you don't know why some people might get promoted more than others. But one thing you can try again, like Dodash, is consistency. I'm not saying you have to publish as often as she does, but you can tell it's working. You know, she's jumping on there. She's not worried about being perfect and editing everything perfect and saying everything perfectly and all that. She's just being genuine, and I feel like the power of God is helping and coming through. He he really, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's a good God, no matter what. Like Paul said in the Bible, whether I'm abased or abounding, you know, you just know how to be and thank God. We got paid today. Dodash got paid. She's like, I can finally buy all these things. You know, she's talking about her landlord. Sounds like she has a great landlord. She's been late on her rent. She's borrowed money from people. And her landlord is saying, just pay what you can. It's going to be all right. And she's so honest where she talked about, you know, not wanting to just sell stuff. I'm with her there in terms of like, I don't want to sell a course. Or she sold some kind of product, I forget, years ago. But she used some other woman's video and the woman found out and sued her. And so today she's so happy because she's like, yeah, like... We came by this honestly. It's just a product of hard work and God, like they say, God puts his super on our natural and it's like, whew, it's something you can't explain. And so it's encouraging me to kind of sit here and just jump in front of the camera, stuff that's going on in my mind that I want to pass on to any one of you, especially people who you can tell they want to know more about YouTube. And I don't try and gas you guys up. That's another thing. I don't want to be like one of these gurus who are like, you can make, you know, jump on here and you'll make $6,000 just like Dodash. You know, like literally study how long ago, if you go to her YouTube channel, look at her oldest video and see how often she's published and, you know, see how the time it took her and just see the length of her videos and see the topics and everything. That's what gives you an idea. It's not some get rich quick scheme. So I don't ever wanna come off as if YouTube will be great. A lot of people sometimes, they don't wanna get on camera and you don't necessarily have to, but I feel like it helps. Like right now, just me sitting here, my face, my hair looking like that, these nails, this bubbly, this particular outfit, I'm creating my own copyright content. This is something that hasn't existed before, like this second here now. Ooh, this is something new. So it's copyrighted just by virtue of me creating it. It's just new. It's not some 
some video I'm reacting to that I don't own, even though that's fine, people can do that as long as it falls under fair use, but it's not some, you know, movie clip or it's not some photos. It's not something that's been out there before is what I'm trying to say. So by virtue of us just sitting here talking to a camera, the unique way I'm looking today, it's my face, it's my voice. And honestly, even though, you know, there's this big faceless YouTube revolution and and certain things I ha certain things I have tried. I've tried AI voice, you know, voiceovers. It sounds like me. It's helped me tremendously on YouTube. So I'm not downing that. But sometimes there's just nothing that can surpass you sitting here just in front of my iPhone. You know, you don't necessarily need anything fancy. Of course, it takes time and I've built up stuff. I got these lights that are from Amazon because, you know, black people especially, you have to light us better generally. And these lights and I got my iPhone 14 Pro Max. The audio is pretty good. That's another thing. Audio is amazing. I have a curtain behind it. it you know, over time, you'll learn like ways that'll kind of help viewers stay engaged. You know, one thing they say is if your audio is really bad, that's one thing that'll make people click off often. So anyway, DoDash is pretty inspiring. I want to you guys, like everyone in my real life that asks me about YouTube, I want to send them over to DoDash too. Like she is a learning lesson. Of course, so many people are learning lessons. I can't even tell you how many YouTube videos I've watched and studied and genres and everything. And I was just thanking God, like, thank you that I get to do something I love. I get to do something I love. Thank God we can make a living doing something we love. You know, I didn't love working in corporate America. I thank God for my corporate career. But back in the day, of course, we didn't have YouTube. So you do the thing, you go to high school. I went to college, I graduated with a business degree. And um, I wasn't able to get um, an offer for a job, you know, right out of college. And so we had back then temp services. They might still be in existence, Kelly services. So you, you got these temporary jobs. And I worked at, in Chicago, LaSalle National Bank. And I worked for a law firm. And then that was a whole nother story. I went for another job at uh, Chicago Title and Trust. That's where I met the man who would become my husband and the father of our two children. So, excuse me, it's a big journey. It's a whole journey. But back then, I couldn't imagine like work from home. That was, I mean, it's what my dad did. He was an entrepreneur. He was innovative. He worked for the post office and my mom worked as a secretary. But my dad was innovative too. He worked from home where he would do people's, um, prepare taxes for people. Smart as a whip, that man. Loved him. Love him. Um, so it taught me some entrepreneurial skills. But then I, you know, moved in back what you do in the 80s and 90s. You worked for a corporation. And after a while, after I had, you know, our first baby, I'm like, ah, oh, I just don't want to do it. I want to build something where I can work from home. And back then, as a writer, you know, what I would do is send off, they call them query letters. I would try and get things published. And then self-publishing came around. And that was a big step. But it was just self-publishing like books. And then Amazon came around where you could self-publish the books. But still, it was just like, okay, those are books. And then websites became popular. And then they made it more popular to, like, Blogger and WordPress. And you can blog and and then finally YouTube came along and it just it amazes me it blows my mind now that you know thinking of like back in the day I would sit there and be over my grandparents house or what have you watching TV and see the people on TV and you're just like wow but all these years later we're able to in essence we're those people on tv a lot of people watch youtube on their tvs a lot more still watch it on their phones on mobile phones so i'm still learning um about video creation and i can get really techy and all that but i won't take you there you learn as you go you learn as you go and grow 
and give. <laughs> That's our church's motto, go, grow, and give. It's like as we grow, we're giving back to people who need it, people who suffer in the hurricane, just made a big donation to my church today. It was by the grace of God, paying my tithes, and they're giving to Convoy of Hope, who are boots on the ground down there, helping people who suffered in the hurricane. So it's a cycle just like God is blessing us and we get to bless others. But my point is we can jump on here, have thoughts in our brain. We can record them right there and publish them. And, you know, sometimes right after I finish editing one of my really long videos, I'll watch the video on my TV, you know, as a critical eye too. Because I like to see, okay, how did the lighting look? How does the audio sound? You know, make sure I've said what I want to say and in my stylized videos, especially everything, lower thirds, everything look good, color, blah, blah, blah. But this one, I don't know if I'll really watch this one back, but it is something that people just, they want to see your face. They want to hear your voice. They want to learn from you. We have so much experience, even whether you're young or older or whatever. There is some gift you have that you can pass on to others who, you know, they might just be looking for something, scrolling through their phone to fall asleep to. A lot of people like to fall asleep to my voice. They might um, just be looking for something and you never know what YouTube is going to promote. And they might find it interesting and click on it and watch you and eventually you'll get subscribers and you might get enough watch hours to potentially be able to apply to the YouTube partnership program, YouTube partner program, and even perhaps get monetized. And that's why I'm saying it's a long process. So that's why I tell you to study Dodash and her process because it wasn't like fly by night. It wasn't like overnight success. I mean, I think she was still like door dashing all that and still just maybe doing videos in her car or wherever. I haven't even watched them all. And then she was able to parlay that and quit DoorDash and now be on this path to become this successful YouTuber. Encouraging. Just sit there not running out of topics. There's so much to talk about. And she talks about God giving us ideas. And that's another thing I do too. I've learned to like listen to the Holy Spirit. Like sometimes I'll turn off the car radio or I'll go for a walk because I'm like, okay, should I cover this case? Should I lean towards this case? Or is it a day of rest? Do, is it a day of research? Just following, where should I go? What do you want me to put out into the world, Lord? And it's just this endless supply, like living water. You know, with me at this point, unfortunately, in true crime, there's so much. People want me to cover so many different cases and I'm getting so much information that I literally do have to pray on it, narrow it down, like, Lord, oh, what do you want? What should I, where should I go? What tact should I follow? What course should I follow in terms of not creating some course? I've never taken a course, you know, you will see people out there who, and some people are probably really good. I mean, some are scammers. I've seen so many scammers over the years taking advantage of people, taking advantage of people who want to, of course, quit their jobs and they want to be a YouTuber. That's like the number one job, I think, for young people wanting to be a YouTuber. That's like fascinating to me, according to some studies. So people take advantage of this desire and they're like, buy my $500 course. I'll teach you how to be a YouTuber. Yeah, a lot of those be cautious. They're probably scams. But then there are other people who have seriously laid out some cash and they appreciate whatever courses and that one-on-one -on -one mentoring. You know, of course, this isn't one-on-one -on -one mentoring. This is very general. But I can keep putting up videos to try and tell you kind of like what to look for. Of course, YouTube isn't going to spell out their algorithm to us. You know, I always wonder what the actual code looks like that says, hey, promote this or don't promote that. But we can kind of glean the things YouTube likes. For example, I feel like they like 
original faces, voices, all that. It, it's not necessary though, because I've watched some excellent documentarians. I want to say Magnates Media, oh, Dodford, all these people that, you know, I'm trying to remember ones that don't show their face, I believe, but they create the most excellent videos. It could take like an hour long though. They might cover a celebrity or something, whatever, never show their face, but it's so edited. It's so informative. It's so highly stylized. It might take them a month or something to do it, but it's quite worth it. Very good. But I do believe YouTube likes faces and um, original voices, not necessarily faces, but they can like that, I believe. Highly stylized, there's a space for that. Um, I believe they like consistency. So maybe there's no hard and fast rule. With DoDash, you can tell her consistency is working for her because it's like maybe even several videos a day. With me, I get into a rhythm with my bigger account where my bigger YouTube channel where I'm kind of like two to three videos a week because it takes me that long to do all the research and gather all the videos and make it visually interesting and pray it's all correct and helpful and all that. But I was thinking, okay, what if on a different channel I can just spout off like I'm doing now, all this wisdom the Lord has given me over the years about YouTube, any of it that might potentially help you, okay you know i'm like leaving my window open stuff i usually because you can hear the traffic noise stuff like that i usually wouldn't do but i'm doing now because it's more like i'm just jumping on here i'm not going to edit this stuff that's not the plan i never go live some people go live um who is it the lead attorney he sells a youtube course he goes live often i believe he made $50,000 from YouTube um, last December and now he's gone through a cancer journey. He's gone through a lot um, but he's made money and there's different ways different styles. Some people are heavily super chatted and um, there's different styles so study which style is best for you and study what works for you and you know, just go for it. That's what I tell, like, my one friend. She spent time previously. She got saved in prison. She has a wonderful testimony, and I'm like, wow. You know, I think of, like, Christina Randall or different people who have told their prison testimonies, and those are the ones that really put them on the map. Like, Christina Randall, she's a big true, true crime YouTuber. She um, told her prison testimony. If you look up her, Christina Randall. Her prison, her prison testimony got like 3 million views. And it's a wonderful story of salvation. So you just never know what might pop off. Sure, you might create a video a day or one a week or several a week. And it only is like, oh, 10 views here, 100 views there. And then after a while, you might see, oh, it's picking up. Maybe I got 1,000 views. Oh, my goodness. Maybe this one get 10,000. Maybe who knows, on a lark, there might be one that's like 300,000. You just never know. As long as you're doing what you're meant to do, if you get in that flow of whatever it is, like I said before, woodworking, maybe it's fashionista, maybe it's lighting, maybe it's DIY, legal stuff, whatever it is that you feel perhaps tugging on your heart, maybe you dream about something. I thought about like talking about my dreams or whatever. Whatever you feel the Lord is leading you to put out in the world, why not try it? And yeah, study DoDash again. She's consistent. It's working for her. She's authentic. And there's kind of like a call to being authentic these days. I wonder, is it the year of Jubilee? That's what I keep wondering. Is next year the year of Jubilee? I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. But I think about... I don't know, just allowing God to unleash the, unleash the blessings of whatever he wants in your life. You know, just pray about it. Ask him, the Lord, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. And, you know, if we ask him his wisdom, it can really help. I think about Pastor Charles Stanley. My dad loved him and he incorporated God into everything he did and one time he was in a uh, meeting 
and then he was talking about praying, I guess. And one guy said, now, Charles, this is business. Like, kind of like leave that prayer stuff, almost like separation of church and state or something like leave that prayer stuff over there. This is business. And it's like, no, God can be incorporated into everything we do. And I really believe that's one reason the Lord has blessed me so much. I think he's blessing Dodash so much. She's worked so hard and it's almost like vindication to see someone. We don't even know her, but we're like watching her and rooting her on. And so I'm rooting you on too. Hopefully if you're looking for a career, I try and, I try and convince so many people like jump on YouTube. You never know what'll happen. I don't tell them to quit their jobs. Like I think Dodash, she kept door dashing and she was just in her spare time. That building up time is important because I feel like YouTube wants to see, are you going to be serious about this? Are you going to offer some consistency? And that's why they have these rules about when they let people in, if they let people in at all to the YouTube partner program. So I hope all that makes sense. I plan on just uploading this sucker without editing and that makes it easier so I can go on and go do research on the cases for my big channel that I plan to um, cover next. But I wanted to add on to here, like whatever wisdom I can pass on, help people see up and coming YouTubers, shout them out, encourage them. I hope it helps encourage you too, to show you you know, if you're not in the industry you're meant to be, or if you want to just kind of start creating some videos, try it. You never know what'll happen. Thank you so much for watching all of this. Okay, take care.